All right, crew, here's my top 10 Christmas movies. And since next week is Christmas, no video, but I will have a very special Christmas message. Number 10, The Santa Claus. No Christmas is complete without a Tim Allen movie. Tim Allen accidentally kills Santa and has to take his place. He thinks it's just for one night, but when he grows a beard and gains 40 pounds, literally overnight, he finds out he's in for more than he bargained for. Number 9, Christmas Vacation. Is it really Christmas without Chevy Chase and the Griswold family? It may not be the best National Lampoon vacation movie, but Cousin Eddie's endless shenanigans make this a Christmas classic. Number 8, Home Alone 1 and 2. Home Alone, the original movies with Macaulay Culkin in the lead role, were my favorite Christmas movies growing up, and they're still a holiday staple at our house. I was Kevin McAllister's age when these movies came out, and he was living every kid's dream. As an adult, I love these movies because they focus on what Christmas is really about, family. Kevin wishes his family would disappear, and when they do, his Christmas wish is for them to come home. Number seven, four Christmases. As much as Christmas is about family, it can be stressful, especially if you have toxic family. We've all been there. That's no laughing matter. But when Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon have to make four stops on Christmas with their families, each one progressively worse than the last, it's fun. Number six, holiday in handcuffs. If you've ever been pressured to go to great lengths to impress your parents, or been made to feel like whatever you do it's not good enough, you're not alone. In holiday in handcuffs, Melissa Joan Hart gets pushed a little too far off the deep end and kidnaps a stranger to present to her parents at Christmas. Number 5. Polar Express. Polar Express is one of my favorite Christmas movies because it makes me remember how Christmas felt for me as a boy. I was about that age when I started to wonder about Santa. But that notwithstanding, there was always an undeniable feeling of magic in the air. Number 4. Jingle All The Way When Jingle All The Way came out in 1994, I was Jamie's age. Furbies became the hottest toy on the market a few years later, and I never got my hands on one. The feeling of not wanting to be the only kid who doesn't get the coolest toy everyone's talking about may be juvenile. But that's what we're concerned with at that age. Ah, to be a kid again. Now that I've got kids of my own, I sympathize more with Sinbad and Arnold Schwarzenegger in their battle to not disappoint their kids. Number three, Christmas with the Crank. Not many people know this, but Christmas with the Cranks is actually based on a James Patterson novel called Skipping Christmas. I've never wanted to skip Christmas or even contemplated it, but a hundred times, after running around like the cranks, I wish I had. Nah, not really. Number two, Elf. Elf is really one of my favorite Will Ferrell movies. It's fun and incredibly quotable, even outside of the Christmas season. It's one of the most fun Christmas movies out there. Before we get to number one, we have two honorable mentions. Honorable mention number one, Die Hard. Not much to say here. For years, I was on the Die Hard isn't a Christmas movie train, and I'm a little ashamed to say I never actually saw it until I was 25. Now I'm a believer. Die Hard made it into the honorable mentions instead of placing because it's such a hot button topic. Honorable mention number two, Nightmare Before Christmas. Is it a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? Can it be both? Are they mutually exclusive? I am in the it's a Halloween movie crowd, but now that it's been mentioned, I'll let you draw your own conclusions on this one. Number one, 
Noel. Noel premiered on Disney Plus in 2019, and it's my favorite Christmas movie. Maybe I'm biased because Anna Kendrick is one of my favorite actors. It's got some Santa Claus vibes, but backwards. Noel's brother Nick is training to be the new Santa, and he's so overwhelmed he takes off for the weekend to reset. But when he doesn't come back, Noel has to find him. Do you agree with my list? Please let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe.